Hey everyone, welcome back to channel SFDC Panther. This is Amit and in this video we are going to discuss about how we can use result binding in our Einstein analytics. So here is a huge case where we actually wanted to display either sum or average of our top 5 or 10 opportunities which are actually grouped by industry. So if we see this problem statement and we try to find out either sum or average we will not be able to do in a single step. For this we need to have two steps and how we are going to divide the steps. So in the first step we are going to get uh, either uh, top 5 or top 10 opportunities and uh, we will group by industry and then in the second step what we will do is we will actually get the sum of amount or average of our amount and we will filter it by those industries which are in our step first. So let's see how, uh, how easily we can do that with the help of result binding. So this is our environment and this is our dashboard where we are working in. So I already implemented this but uh, I will show you how we can implement this. So we will quickly create a new dashboard for you and uh, that we will use analytics binding here. So we will say that uh, let's quickly name it as result binding and here we will save it as inside our private application. So why we are saving is so that we did not lose any uh, we did not lose any kind of uh, whatever the work we are doing in a progress. So let's quickly say we have a container here and inside this container first thing that we need to do is we need to create a widget which actually displaying top 5 or top 10 opportunities so let's quickly edit the limit I'm going to say that top 10 and instead of count of rows let's quickly make it as sum of amount and for the bar graph we are going to select industry here so now we have got top 10 opportunities and let's name it as top 10 OPP that means top 10 opportunity and uh, click on done here drag and drop this and then do it here so I'm going to drag on below here so that we can add some toggles above in the going video as well so here we have got our first step is done now if we talk about our second step that is uh, to get the sum of amount filtered by industry in the step first so first thing that we will do is uh, we will create a new uh, data set sorry a new widget and we will say let's quickly say that sum of amount and uh, this time we are not going to do anything we are not going to filter and we will say that uh, amount here we are not putting any filter for now we will see how we can do that and then drag and drop a number field a number widget here and uh, let's quickly Dra sorry drag and drop our amount widget here inside this number so that we can see and uh, to quickly quickly remove this and let's start in the number now we are getting 124 million and uh, here we are also going to increase let's say that 20 and uh, for the alignment we are saying this in center now we have got that we have total amount of 124 million and if we see here uh, on the top 10 industry we are not able to uh, we are not able to get uh, uh, the industries here uh, if the amount we count here this amount will definitely be less than uh, greater than the sum of all these industries so how we can do that so we quickly need to use a result binding how we'll do that let's see so we need to go to the query here we have top 10 opportunity and if you see that uh, uh, we need to use here so I will say column and uh, this is our query and uh, which binding we are using actually is result binding and what we need is so we need here what column we actually need here so let's quickly go to the Einstein analytics or we can quickly go here click on this drop down and click on explore to explore the widget into the next uh, into the new tab so this industry column actually we need because we wanted to filter this number widget based on the industry what uh, how many industry we do have all industries we wanted to 
uh, put inside a filter in this widget so we are going to use industry column here and what we will say is we will use as equality operator here so as uh, in previous lecture uh, we, in previous videos we saw how we can use as equality so we are going to use as equality here so now we have got this result binding done now let's quickly implement this result binding inside our uh, what was uh, the query parameter we can say this is not this is the one amount underscore one so what we are going to use is so we are going to say amount underscore one here and uh, as we know that uh, to put the filter what we need to do is uh, let's quickly uh, edit made some changes here so that we can get that in the form of SQL. so we are going to say limit 200 run query and update this now if we go to our json format we will get that here uh, we have this particular filter sorry in the SQL we are getting here now what we will do is we will say that uh, forward slash n that means in the new line and we are saying that q equal to filter q by and uh, our bindings that we just put and then put a semicolon uh, don't forget to put that otherwise you will get some error so again what we did is we just used we said that uh, filter the query by what we are uh, doing is we are uh, getting the results from the first step and then we are using that we wanted to filter with the field that is industry so let's say we are clicking on done and we are getting some error here so what error we are getting is so we are getting analytics encountered a problem as equality expected deserialization got identifier okay so what we will do is uh, we have uh, there might be some typo mistake so we will quickly try to remove that so here we did as equality here again uh, we will try yep uh, let's quickly try to do this now now you can see earlier we were getting the amount which were 124 million and now we are getting to 98 million so and if we try to see the details for this particular widgets only click on show details and if you hit uh, in the details you will see that uh, we are getting the filters by all the industries which are actually being shown and original queries this is what we put inside our uh, data inside our widgets in our JSON format now let's quickly try to put some uh, toggles uh, on the top of uh, our uh, top 10 opportunities so that we can uh, be sure that our uh, a particular number widget is also working with the help of result binding so I'll say here I'm going to create a custom uh, custom query so I'll say let's say that top 10 and uh, I'll say that uh, top uh, top sorry top top 5 top 10 top 15 and then we are going to say here all and uh, let's quickly add a column text column and edit this rename this as a value here and for the text here uh, let for type uh, top 5 we will need to give 5 10 15 and uh, like that so for all we need to give the default which is 2000 and uh, for display label let's quickly rename it to a small d now we have got this static uh, toggle here now let's go to the query section and make it as a single selection required so that we can get top 5 as selected now what we need to do is we need to make this selection to affect this chart so that if we select top 5 it should show only top 5 opportunities if we set uh, say top 10 and uh, so 10 opportunities 15 and uh, 2000 opportunities so let's quickly uh, work on the binding parts here as well so we have this static one uh, again we need to use column and then uh, we are going selection binding here instead of result because we wanted to get the uh, selection and rest is fine we wanted to get the value as object now let's quickly go to this chart this is top 10 opportunities and uh, we need to find out top 10 now we have this top 10 opp opportunities and in place of limit we just need to replace our why we are replacing these numbers because uh, we if you remember that even if you see here in our static toggle that we created we are using 
uh, the numbers only we are not putting query light and limit uh, limit q and whatever the numbers you want it to so we just need to use a num uh, replace the number and this thing will be taken care by salesforce itself so what uh, we are getting here is still we are getting okay it is not reflecting that means uh, we have got some got some error so let's quickly see okay it is only taking limit uh, query 10 no matter what it is okay so let's quickly get back again here okay 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 this is our fault we are in amount one we need to go to the industry one so first thing that we need to make sure is let's quickly edit this and uh, we need to edit we will say done query again update this and uh, now we will find out top 10 okay now here we have got this and uh, that is okay so we are saying that limit q is static one dot selection and value as object so let's quickly see what happens here either we are able to see oops this is not working what uh, could be the problem again let's quickly see okay we are hmm. let's make it as 20 we don't need to bother about this and uh, we are seeing here okay okay top 10 opportunity again we are not uh, we did not made any changes here so now if we click on done this would be done you can see it is reflecting and the amount is reflecting as well so we are getting 98 whatever it was earlier if we set off 15 we are getting the amount increase as well and if we say all that means we are getting 124 million so this is a very simple huge case where you can actually work with the result binding and you might get some other huge case while you are working with the real time scenarios as well so yep this is it for this video uh, hope you have learned something new please do like share and subscribe the channel and if you have any questions please feel free to uh, put down into the comment section or you can also reach me out over my social media's handle